Honest, J. Nowak. Oh yeah. A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Honest J. Nowak. And now, for today, let's just get on ahead with some more HJN topics, and I guess for the time being, I'll just continue sticking around with some original topics here, because as far as I'm concerned, it is still true that the Nerf Secret Revealed HJN crossover won't be here for some time. Of course, you can check back on the Vlogathon. There's a pretty elaborate way of me explaining the whole story behind that, but I guess we shouldn't go ahead and give out too many spoilers here. But for today, let's just stick to original topics. Because what I got here to talk about, seeing as now we're at number 570, it's time for a little bit of practitioners. Oh yeah. This kind of takes us back, especially if you don't remember a lot of Morgan Spurlock's work back in the day. The documentary known as Super Size Me, which basically talks everything about the fast food industry and the many effects that it has on us, physically and mentally. But I guess the big part about it is the type of medical studies relating to how fast food diets can, in fact, become deadly in one's life. If there's a certain practitioner that we all remember from that documentary that, well, Dr. Daryl M. Isaacs, who basically checks up on Morgan Spurlock every now and then to address whatever sorts of health problems might be underway. From the beginning, Isaacs actually explains to, Mor to Spurlock that, well, of course, there would be a good likelihood of something bad going on unless Spurlock were to cheat and just order salads throughout the whole experiment. But throughout the whole month, every time that they've checked up, Isaacs would of course address certain things around, like the fact that the liver was becoming very intoxicated and loaded with a lot of fatty tissues. And then of course at one point, Isaacs highlights the fact that uric acid had become elevated which would mean that Morgan Spurlock would be getting hyperuricemia at some point, which would be likely to cause gout, kidney stones, or other such conditions relating to uric crystal formations. But in the end, Isaacs does confirm that the McDiet of McDonald's fast food, three times a day, 24-7, and throughout that whole entire month, just showed that while Morgan Sparlock did gain less than 25 pounds of body weight and also shot up a massive surge of 65 points in cholesterol and not to mention different mental health effects have also become, well, strangely transformed, plus a lot more. It just goes to show that no matter who you want to have assist and supervise you, in whatever kind of experiment you want to do, regardless of what your health is, in fact, going to go down into, you can always rely on a practitioner to check up with you and address whatever could go wrong with you at some point in time. Well, I guess that was elaborate enough already, but there really is a lot that I should be able to talk about soon. And if you want to see more go down my channel, then make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, follow me on social media, and stay on the Hollywood side.